hello again, cooks and nut viewers. Last time with my tutorials, I showed you how to make your server. Now, um, that would obviously just only have the basic Half-Life 2 props and the other, like the physics stuff like that, on there. You're obviously going to want, if you've got the other games like Counter Strike, Day of Defeat, Team Fortress, Left 4 Dead, um, you want the props from that if you want to use those kind of things. Um, so as you can see, at the moment I'm updating the other add-on stuff. I'm, gonna, I'm just using the Left 4 Dead stuff too, but put it on there. But I've already put the Counter Strike stuff on my server. If you come into here, as you can see, I've got my Counter Strike folder of all the maps and whatever and the props already there in my server folder. But to actually make that work, you want to come into here, go to mount, and there you have C Gary's mod server C strike. Obviously, you write that of the path for where you have put your Counter Strike content. I put it there, so it's pretty simple. You could have a folder of for all your content for the different games and make it so that when you go into this mount folder, it says see blah de blah content and then it'll read make sure when to, like this don't have any of the like double dashes at the start or anything like that so it just reads it that's the thing we've already got team fortress one there but i don't have team fortress stuff installed so that's just not doing anything at the moment but let me just change this so obviously it goes a bit wrong so i'm just going to save that and then start up the server. Skadoosh. So, you connect to your server. When you connect to your server, as you can see, you can bring, say, you try and spawn the Counter Strike map on props. They won't actually spawn, but. Half-Life 2 stuff spawns fine, because that's the base props for what Gary's mod gives you. So as you can see, it's a nice combine wall thing, but I can't spawn the Counter-Strike stuff. So, if we come back now to the mount folder, let me just quit this server so we'll have a fit. So, if we go back into our CFG mount and make it so it's actually reading what being told to go to the right place, make sure you save it, of course. Start the server again. And now, this time, it should actually let me spawn some Counter Strike items. So, back onto the server. And if it's being nice, it should work and allow it to spawn Counter Strike. So there we go. I can now spawn Counter Strike stuff. So that's basically how you can get props working on your server from the different games so that they're all freely available on your server. I've also added a few different tools on my server, which I'll show you in a second how they are actually able to work on here as well, but let's just show you what they're doing as well, obviously just some pretty basic ones on top of the normal tools that you need, or you get just given to you. Precision tool, obviously, puts a nice grid in it, so when you're trying to connect things, like make a car to get the wheels in perfect place, it's got a grid in it, so you can aim it right where you want, say like for the weld in, you obviously want to get precise, you just aim it where, see the red dot shows exactly where it's going to be, and that helps a lot when you're making things, so you don't want it to be like suddenly collapsing on itself like some of the things I've done when I haven't used that. Um, and also, yeah, so that's the, I've got the buoyancy, which is pretty obvious, you can put things on it, change this item here, to nothing and one will float 
and one will sink. So that's pretty good if you're making boats or if you're making like rafts. And also here, a last tool that I've added is the weight tool, which helps for with vehicles and stuff like if something's connected to like a pulley or a winch, stuff like that, it could suddenly just you'd hear a rock or something and it would just implode in itself. You could change the weight on things, so you know see that's quite heavy so this balloon can't touch it. But if we lower it down a bit, bit right, still too weak, strong to me. Put it to nothing. Let's change the force on the balloon then, see if we can actually Whee! And then if we can catch it just before it goes out of existence. Yeah. See if it will drop down with the weight. And there we go. Nearly killed myself with a balloon. But yeah, so that's how this other tool's on here. But to get these on here, so obviously they're in your normal tools tool section. You want to what you basically want to do I'm just gonna come out of the server now and I'll show you how. So to get those different things on your server, I mean I've only got the tools at the moment, but you can put from obviously you go to your workshop and you can put anything you want to actually that can download into the Gary's mod you can put in there to start up for other people to use on your server, like different game modes and stuff like that. Say so if you want to just start up like a zombie mode, you can put that in there and change the there's a different line of text you need to write, but I mean that's just the basic one to start off. But what you want to do is come to this one where you create collection. I've already got one done, but I'll show you what you do. Now you'd give it a title, uh, you give it a picture, describe what's in it obviously, so and then what kind of stuff it is, and what's going to be in it. Obviously, you'd say to continue, but I've already done mine, so I'm just going to go to mine and show you what's. I've got it. And so once you've done that, let's just go to it. You then want to copy this number here. So, obviously, you just copy it, which means so you can remember it for later. So, keep that there. And then also, if you come to this website, you'll have to sign in with your Steam account. I've already signed in, and I've already got my key. But when it starts off here, there's just it gives a thing that says the domain name you want to give it, which I've just called it Cox and My Gaming. And then you just press enter, and it gives you a fresh key. So if you then copy that with here as well. So then once you've done that, so you've got your different things, like at the moment I've obviously just got the tools, everything will be in here for what we're going to do for our different videos. So it's pretty easy to just come here and turn it off or turn different things on or add new things. Like when you're in actual Gary's mod and you're download the different add-ons through the workshop there, they'll still only be on your single player, whatever you're doing. If you want to put them into here, you then have to obviously come to your collection and there would be a list of here see so st stuff that you like that's the stuff that I've downloaded while I'm in game you then just click it and it'll then add it to the collection but to actually get that rain on your server you need those two numbers which then if you have your server on to right click your shortcut that's obviously just the shortcut to your server that's in your Gary's mod file from the Steam command stuff. And as you can see here, I've copied this wall of text into the target so where it reads what it's doing, obviously. It's reading from the uh, the file or where all the other stuff is. And then you just add that to the end. And so every time you start up your server now, it will then read your collection of what everything's in there and everyone will be able to use those bits for on that server. But that's obviously just got the basic collection what's in there. You can put extra bits on there like changing the different notes. I've only got that because we're only doing our 
random Special Olympics stuff at the moment, but once we actually change things, I'll then put the information of what we've changed on the video. So, if anyone's interested in doing other things like that, it will be shown. And I'll show you how we've changed it. But at the moment, this is the basic stuff to get you started. It just lets you get so you get your workshop. And all of the stuff as well that we will be putting on our server will be in this collection. So if you, there's anything you've seen that's quite interesting that we will be using, go on by and obviously download our collection. But I think that's it for this one. Um, I'll see you again shortly. With, we have started filming our Special Olympics. So the first event's been done. We will be doing a few other ones and putting them all together just so it's not just a big long thing of you watching us fail making our events it'll just be a nice the collection of the games and there might be a couple of other people with us because it might be just a bit boring me beating james all the time i mean this doesn't it's not that fun to win it all but hey james just can't do his own games that will be up shortly next i'm hoping next couple of days it depends when we're both three three and if our mates can also come on the server to make it a bit more interesting. So keep an eye out for us. Like, subscribe if this helps you out. There will probably be a few more tutorials coming up soon. But that's all for now.